What's up, everybody? The Bearded Geek, back once again. I know that I normally do band box unboxings, but I have said that I'm going to do more content for everybody. Uh, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start going through things in my collection, featuring them, showing them, giving reviews, and so on and so forth. And this is what I'm going to start with. One of my favorite images of Superman ever is Superman 204 by Jim Lee. This image has to be top three for me as my favorite images. Him sitting on top of the statue overlooking Metropolis. You got the cape blowing in the wind. I wanna get this signed by Jim Lee right there. Hopefully I'll, I'll be able to do that Megacon this year if they do not cancel, which I'm kind of expecting them to cancel, but fingers crossed, right? So here we go, man. I'm going to start off with this right here, since this is what everything is based off of, the Superman 204. Now, this comic book is in fairly good shape. It's not, a, it's not in perfect shape, but for what it is, I mean... I'm not going to sit here and say this is a 9.8. No, this is probably a 9.2. It, it's in the 9 range. I keep my comic books. I love my comics. I keep my comic books bagged and boarded. I don't move them around so much. So they stay as clean and as, you know, as uh, possible. There we go. Superman 204. Next, we have... A fuck a pop. Check it out. Same image. Same image. See how he's on the statue? Right there. This is, uh, I love this little statue, man. It has the cape blowing in the wind. He's sitting. I mean, let's, let's compare, do a comparison. Here we go. What do you think? It's about as close as can be. I mean, it, I, I, as far as Funko can go, that's pretty close. That's not bad. Not bad. This is part of the Jim Lee collection uh, from Funko Pop. I, I am an out-of-box collector. I don't always keep my Funkos in their box. I know for some people that's a no-no for the true Funko aficionados, but let's face it, it's a Funko. It's not like it's porcelain, it's plastic, it's vinyl. But there you go. To follow that up, we have, you are not gonna believe this, another Funko, just black and white, it's, it's the same. It's probably it's the same mold, same everything else, just a black and white version. This was is a GameStop exclusive. This came with a T-shirt, but the I waited to get this. I did not rush out and get this when they first came out. I actually got this on sale. Um, it had been out for a while, and I could not find the T-shirt that. In my size because let's face it I'm, I'm a bit husky I'm, a <laughs> I'm pleasantly plump if you will but there we go I, I enjoy it put them together here see it's, it's the same thing you know one has a little color one does not but the next piece. Come on. Check it out. This is the mini. This is uh, the DC Comics, DC Collectibles mini. I freaking love it. Now, it's not exactly like the comic. Not exactly. As you can see, even if I would have to turn it this way, wouldn't I? I'm being careful because I don't want to drop him. As you can see, the cape 
is actually going the wrong way. Um, and it does not flare out in front. However, the straight up image of this, in my opinion, is fantastic. Let's uh, see if we can uh, get some clarity here. Let me, uh, you know, you have the detail right here in the abs. The shine on the, his suit is kind of matte a little bit until you get up to the emblem. I know that the light is putting a glare on, on everything, but the suit is kind of matte, actually. It's a really good paint job. The emblem itself is super shiny. It's probably not coming off well on camera. And then you have the Superman logo on back. But this is by far my favorite thing that I have that it represents the Superman 2 of 4 comic book is this mini statue. Check it out. Now it does come apart. I'm not going to take it apart because if I remember right, the peg is right in here and it was a pain in the butt to get in there. Or actually, no, I don't. No, this is the mini. There's a bigger version of this. Most, most uh, comic book statues come have a, a base and a peg on their feet or whatever that go in it. Um, I've actually had this a while, so now that I'm thinking about it, I really don't remember if it does or not. But I'm not going to mess with it and tempt fate. So this goes in my, I have a, a curio cabinet that he stays in and that is all things Superman. Let's see, let's see if we can get a good better look here. But I love this image. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is part of my Superman collection. Part of my Superman collection featuring Superman 204. If you have any questions about my Superman collection, give me suggestions on what you would like to see. If you would like to see comics that I have, signed comics, uh, more statues, um, uh, let's see, more Funkos, because I do have Funko statues, I have figures. Um, next week, I'm probably going to do a McFarlane figure review, uh, Superman. I'm looking for the Wonder Woman McFarlane's right now, but uh, that has been my video. Give me a good old thumbing. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment. Or as the kids say, hit that subscribe button. Slap it. Smack it up, flip it, and rub it down. I don't care what you do with it. Just do something with that subscribe button. Hit it. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Peace.